There have been a string of robberies targeting Buddhist temples recently in America. And a lot of people are wondering, is something like Buddhism making Asians soft? Yeah, let's run the clip. This happened over the weekend at the Wat Thai Buddhist temple. The monks there say the thieves got away with nearly $20,000. Our Matt Gregory spoke to the monks who say they are just the latest in a string of robberies targeting temples. Monk Jack went up to his living quarters to find his room ransacked. The safe was right there. Yeah. The safe ripped off the wall and with it, Monk Jack estimates roughly $20,000 in donations to the temple. You know, for us, the Asian, we were just trying to follow Confucius and we we're trying to follow Buddha and have like the social diplomacy. But people in the West, they take advantage. Um, we got to talk about this, Andrew. There has uh, been a string of robberies up and down the East Coast, but really just all across America. And unfortunately, they're targeting Buddhist temples, mm -hmm. whether they're Lao, they're Thai, they're Chinese, Andrew, because Buddhist temples, they're known to not be aggressive places. Mm -hmm. They're places of peace. They're places of harmony. People are not even tapped into that thinking that people are going to run up and rob a Buddhist temple at all. But it seems like there are criminal organizations trying to take advantage of that. Right. I mean, I guess some people are learning that these are easy targets, right? I mean, these are places of worship. They're very peaceful, chill, very open to everybody. Um, but unfortunately, somewhere there is like a bunch of cash that they can reach and that very aggressive people can run into and, and get it. So I guess uh, we got to talk about this. Uh, this has to do with Asian culture in general. So uh, yeah, if you're interested by this video, please hit that like button and check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Check out Smala Sauce at smalasauce.com. Get the pre-orders right now. I'll say this, Andrew. Buddhism is really Asian. Like I know Buddha, you know, uh, if you guys know the story, born in Lumbini, Nepal, gets enlightened in India. From India, Andrew, it spreads all around Asia, East Asia, Southeast Asia. There's varying types of Buddhism. Yes. But the main type thing about Buddhism is that you're supposed to just not be violent. But that might be crazy, Andrew, in the West where people can be so crazy and potentially like violent does it seem like there's a mismatch? Right, and and we're gonna talk about, obviously this is gonna be, this could even be a way longer conversation involving a lot of different aspects about Asian culture, but let's just focus on Buddhism uh, for this video. Right, right, right. I mean, just look at the posts on the internet, Andrew. Why are East Asian countries so safe relative to other countries? Why is Asia in general kind of quiet? Why, mm. why do Asians seem so docile? Why do Asians seem so submissive? By the way, Andrew, these are posts not from the Asian internet. These are posts from the Western American internet. So I'm, by the way, guys, I'm not saying I agree with these. I'm just saying these are real posts that you can find all numerous over the Western internet. Yeah, and I think it's pretty much based off most people's experience of being around a lot of Asians, even in America, feeling safe around them, feeling like things are peaceful or feeling like they could, if they really wanted to be an aggressor. Um, if you walk into like a Chinese market, like, Chinese supermarket, you right, might you start messing stuff up. Nobody's going to like punch you in the face, right? Right, right. Or obviously on their trips to Asia, uh, you know, crime is pretty low. Yeah. Murder is pretty low. Uh, assault is pretty low. Even in Southeast Asia as well. Like, right. you know, I mean, and it's like, it's just, I just feel like Asians have a very non-confrontational culture. I do feel like some of it, not all of it is driven by Buddhism. I do think there are generally pretty harsh crime laws in Asia, so mm -hmm. that's going to discourage people from doing it. Um, generally, uh, less tolerance of hard drug usage in Asia. Mm -hmm. So that's going to prevent a culture of crime, right? And uh, yeah, I mean, there, there's economic standards of living, GDP per capita, just like stabilization of society factors involved. But does it feel like when we take like a, a religion like Buddhism from the East, Andrew, then we have it in the West, are people basically trying to exploit it for their own gain, basically take advantage of the niceness? Yeah, and I think this is a big question that, you know, we'll talk about in this video. We'll talk more about it at the end is like, what is the difference between being nice and kind and peaceful, but being a pushover? And I think that a lot of people view Asians as pushovers, but at some point, you know, as an Asian, uh, maybe it's natural for you or how you're raised. You want to be kind. You want to be nice. Mm -hmm. But if you're a pushover, people will absolutely take advantage of you in America. And that's what's happening. For so. sure. For sure. I mean, I'll say this. A lot of people are saying that this is organized Romanian crime from like Romani gypsies. Not my words, guys. I'm just saying that's what the news said. The mm. news said it's tied into like something. Uh, and um, yeah, I just feel like, man, even Asians that have a reputation for like 
getting more crazy when you push them too far, like Koreans or Cambodians, they're still just generally at a baseline, generally very like gentle people. Like unless you, they get pushed, mm. their, their buttons pushed, right? Right, right, right. And uh, man, here's a couple charts about Buddhism real quick, guys. By the way, I'm not blaming Buddhism at all. If anything, I'm more just pointing out potentially like a misalignment mm. of being super Buddhist in the West when the West obviously more Abrahamic, more just aggressive in general. Like, I don't know if it's a mismatch or not. Let's take a look at the comment section. Somebody said, man, you have to be really low to do hits on peaceful, unarmed places of worship. It's already a slice of karma leading to a low life of thievery. Let's hope more negative karma get comes their way because they deserve it. Basically, you reap what you sow. Mm. Um, I'll say this, man. It's like, do you like, relying on karma to punish the people for doing the bad stuff to the Buddhist temples? No, no. I mean, I feel like, of course, there's this sense of vengeance, right? You're messing with our community, and obviously, I'm sure a lot of people can relate when you saw all those videos of, like, the Asian hate happening, and, and they continue to happen on some level, but maybe not as much. But, like, you feel like that blood boil, and you're like, gosh, I want to clap back five times harder. I want to do something about this. I want to get my revenge. But like, obviously most religions, I believe most religions, including Christianity, Islam and all, especially Buddhism are peaceful. They're like, don't do that. Vengeance is not the way. Now, I think most religions say that. Right, but it seems like the, it doesn't always play out like that. Yeah. But it seems like for Buddhist countries, generally it does play out that way. They're not, like, these monks are not going to form, like, a task force to, like, strike back. Yeah, I mean. Because that's not the culture. Yeah, and I mean, it's interesting you think about Thailand. It's a very Buddhist country, but they also have Muay Thai, which is, like, the most brutalist martial arts sport out there. But there's a lot of honor when they fight Muay Thai. Yeah, and they're also very nice and hospitable people. And even if you mess around in Thailand, yeah, they'll probably kick and punch you a little bit more, but they also don't, they're not necessarily going to pull out the gun and, and shoot you, right? You know, but that's like, in America, they, they might. Right. Um, somebody just said this is happening to Thai and Lao Buddhist temples, Buddhist temples of all kinds across the country. I'll say this, if, if you are connected with a Buddhist temple, hit them up and just ask them if they got a plan. Right. I would say just have a plan. They don't even got to tell you the plan because if maybe they don't trust you or whatever. If you, but just ask them if they got a plan. Yeah, just because I think at the end of the day, within those circles of thieves, they, they're they starting to figure out Buddhist temples. They probably know Buddhist temples more than I do. Like, I don't really understand how they work, but I, yeah, I well, guess that, they have a big... their job to be a professional thief, so they're, they're yeah. studying the... Yeah. And also, I think the way that Buddhist temples are ran, maybe they're ran a little bit more old school, less security. They have like a bowl of cash for donations somewhere where it's like, you know, maybe other more developed churches, they would just have a, like in a bank. And, or like and, and you know, just because these Romanians or whatever, like the news said they were okay. Like show up, the Buddhist temple like mindset is not to be like, oh, these guys are here to steal. You know, that's not like the first thing they're thinking because they don't want to be in that mindset as monks. Right. Um, Anyway, here's just a quick uh, history of the Romani people. Obviously, this was a thing in Europe for a long time. It's coming to America right now. Listen, guys, I'm not saying... This is just, like, from the comments section. Literally, the news is covering this, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that everybody like this is like this for sure. Um, somebody just said... Uh, there, Andrew, there was a couple posts. Is it just me, or is this, does it seem like other races in America, almost all other races, feel like they can just walk over Asians if they want to? Mm -hmm. um, what do you think? Like some people are, are suggesting a hyper militant approach. Some people are saying, no, this is just how people perceive us. This is the game plan that we chose to run. Like, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people perceive Asians to be smaller, submissive, docile, nonviolent. Like you can slap them once. Yeah, turn the other but I, I think there's also a lot of cases of Asians fighting back. I think it's just literally that Buddhist temples, they're not built to have a lot of security and not, especially not to, uh, uh, maybe they don't, they're not, they're, they're definitely not moving militant, right? Yeah, yeah, they're not expecting it, you know. I mean, I walked into a couple Buddhist temples before and uh, everybody seemed very nice and it was open. And yeah, I mean, unfortunately, you have to understand that in this day and age, a lot of people have bad intentions out there. So you kind of have to prepare for it more, lock the doors more and stuff like that. For sure. Ultimately, guys, I just think we're just asking questions, guys. Of course, I think religion, belief systems. I don't even know if, you know, some people don't even consider Buddhism a, a hardcore religion in a Western sense. And it's just like, 
I don't know. I just feel like Asians, we got to come up with like just some new plans, you know? I, I mean, I got the utmost respect for the monks and the way that they live their life. That's not how I live my life, but I got a lot of respect for it. I know it comes from the East, but I, I just think we got to have these discussions internally within the community. Right. So what do you think are some things that, you know, we're not, you're not a, a Buddhist monk. You're not a Buddhist expert, but like, what are some things that at least the, I, the temples could do? Or what do you think? Or what, man, are, you asking, what are you wondering? They got to hire somebody or have somebody who's more tapped into the, evil side of life what do you mean like the no, more not tapped in like not that they're evil obviously because you don't want that in buddhism but i'm saying more familiar with it more tapped into the streets you mean like the people running the temple whether they're the monks or not the people there, who are like there might have to be a monk that's the head of security oh. but that, that that's job yeah. is to think about these things that obviously yeah. most monks they don't want to spend their time thinking about it because they're yeah. trying to find enlightenment yeah yeah i mean i think for me you know i think that asians in general we need to really get out of this pushover level that we're in. Asians are seen as pushovers. We're seen as pushovers. It seems like you can prod us, poke us, kick us down. You mean like further than we're anybody else, right? We're not going to do anything. We are pushovers. That's a pushover. You know, when a girl dates a guy who's a pushover, that means that dude is a, a true simp in the sense, and she's able to squeeze everything out of him, and he's just like, okay, okay, okay. We always say okay, okay to everybody, and I think that ultimately – when you let things happen, you want to feel in control and you want to be like, yo, I'm allowing that to happen and I know what's happening, but I'm letting that happen versus, oh, I don't like that this thing's right. happening. I'm helpless. Those are two different ways of thinking. You might let, you might still let that big six foot six guy talk trash to you and you not punch him in the face because you understand just you're logical about it. And you're like, you know what? I know how to handle this guy. I understand this is happening. I understand I'm getting picked on and I know how to handle it and I'm gonna step away from this situation versus being like, oh, okay, yeah, I hate it, but I, I can't do anything about it. Like, I think those are, those might even breed the same action, but it's a completely different way of thinking. Right, I think we gotta look at modern day applicability. Anyway, guys, listen, this is not an easy one for me. I don't really have the solutions. Let me know what you guys think of this whole string of terrible things happening at Buddhist temples in the comments section below. Are people just taking advantage of the kindness of following Buddha? It's crazy right now. It's 2024, guys. Anyway, guys, uh, let us know what you think of the story. Until next time with the Hot Pot Boys, we out. Peace.